If you have ever wanted to do a snowflake icon with Inkscape, now is your chance to do so, because we are going to have a look step by step how to do so. So, step one. Just start a new blank document. And from there, we want to start by clicking here, snap to paths. It means that when we start to do a path, we can snap to the sides along the path and make our branches from there. So start by doing a couple of these paths and just grouping them. So go to object and group or press Control G. Now that we have the first group, we want to do a couple of linked groups so we can edit, uh, edit many groups of these nodes simultaneously. I'll show you how it's done. So, um, create a clone out of the branch that you just made, and then just flip it uh, horizontally, like that. And now we should, for this one, we want to snap to the corners of the nodes, and now, like that. Now we have two branches growing up from this tree of ours. And since this rightmost group is a link from the first group, I show you what you can do. By double clicking and clicking inside the group, you can start changing the groups things. And as you can see, everything that I do in this first group translates directly to the second group that is just horizontally linked. So, we want to do a couple of these groups, so we can form a snowflake. So, we continue by making a, another clone, and then just flipping it vertically. Then we can snap it to the cusp node, and make another one. Create clone and now rotate it 90 degrees. And as you can see, it starts to resemble something like a snowflake. But yeah, that's what we are going to do today. So make sure to select the first group that you did because it's the only group that you can edit now. If you want to edit these other groups, it's not possible since they are still linked to this first group. So, select the full first group and then we'll want to edit the stroke width because this is way too thin for a snowflake. We want to make it something really bold, like 10 or so, so it, it comes clear when we look, look at the snowflake from the distance. So 10 is probably good if you have this, this sized snowflake, but you want to keep it uh, quite bold. And the other thing you want to do here is that you want to use the round caps before, because it gives it more natural kind of look for this snowflake. But yeah, when you have these selected, you can dig into this group and then just start duplicating these branches. Now as you can see, I made one of the branches too long, so when it when it's, uh, propagates to the smaller ones, it already uh, intersects with the bigger branches. So this is something you don't want to do. You, you want to keep it as, as balanced as possible, so keep in mind that when you edit something in here, it will all, all, always uh, affect in many places. And, well, I'm pretty uh, satisfied with this. So, let's roll with that one. Uh, now we want to make a duplicate because duplicating things is a good way to do actually 
backups of your designs in Inkscape. But yeah, uh, the next step is that we want to actually unlink the clones. So go to clone and unlink clone. And this effectively means that we can now edit each and every single uh, branch, but they are not like linked anymore. And that's exactly what we want. And after we have everything unlinked, we can go to object and ungroup. And that means that we now have every little branch as uh, one ungrouped object. So if we go to display mode outline, we can see that each one of these little branches are now one object each. And that's what we want because now as you can see that the outline of the of the snowflake is actually not the one that we see on the normal view, but this is just a stroke that is a stroke that has uh, some kind of width. So if we want to uh, want to kind of finalize this design, we will need to go and make the stroke to a path. And as I click this, you can see that what it does, it actually goes and makes all the paths have an outline where I want them to be. So this is what you want to do with your design always. And well, for example, here, we have two nodes here and two nodes here, and we have this one path going here and there, and we don't want that. So we want to union all of these different paths. So we, uh, so we have just one long outline going, going uh, around the snowflake. And that we can do with the union. So now, as you can see, now we have one big, beautiful snowflake. And this is just one long outline of the whole snowflake. And that's what we want when we want to finish our design. So now, uh, let's change back to the normal display mode. And basically, there we have it. Our very own little snowflake icon. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And please go to $1icons.com where you can find this icon and lots of other icons that you can buy for just $1. Okay, bye.